Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to make an IoT based device which can control your appliances and can monitor the temperature, humidity and heat index levels. So let's start it. First open the Arduino IDE and go to the tools and then go to the boards and go to boards manager here you need to add the node mcu esp826 module so type here esp8266 this is the board we have to include it in the Arduino IDE so it is need to need to be installed there I already installed it so I am not installing right now Now go to the sketches, we include the library, so add a zip library, I given the link in the description, so you can download the libraries there, after downloading the libraries, go to the path of the libraries and uh, you need to open it, since I already included the libraries, no I am not including here, I am not including here. These are the components required. Links are in the description. This is the circuit. You can download the freezing file in the description. First, take a power board. This is uh, an ESP8266 module. Insert the female header pins to the MCU and fix and fix it on the power board. This is to check the size. Now solder these female hair pins with the board. Now insert the male hair pins beside of female hair pins to take the output from node MC module. Now solder these male pins. How to interconnect the beside male pins with the female pins? After soldering, it looks like this. This is the female DC jack. It is to be inserted in the board and solder it. And you have to insert an IC7805 5 volt voltage regulator beside this. You have to wire it. This positive 5 volts is connected to the right side 5 volt spin of the ESP8266 module and down to the ground. After interconnecting this, it looks like this. This is the plastic box. You make a hole, you have to first set up this and mark the for the holes. Now wire the relay as given in the circuit. After making holes, this is how the box looks like. Take a suitable size of cardboard and place it in the box. Now we have to make holes to the cardboard. Now place the relay board inside the box and fix it with the screws. Here I am taking the screws and fixing it. Now, for fixing it, you have to take a double sided tape and apply it on the cardboard. Now, place the perk board over there. Now apply the double sided tape on the top of the box for fixing the DHT11 module. Now I am inserting the node MC module. Fix it carefully. Now wipe the relay module to the node MCU module as given in the circuit.
these are the wires for DHC level modules. Now wire the DHT level module and connect their wires to the ESP8266 node MCU module. As per the pins declared in the program. Oh, I slipped the wire. Now program the node MCU. After programming, insert it again. Now I am taking LEDs as control outputs instead of the appliances. When I click on the buttons on the dashboard, this respective LEDs will be glow there. Instead of this, we can also connect the main power supply to it to control the actual outputs. Now testing it. Connecting the power supply there. Now you can see the CANA dashboard in the display there. For the interface, I am using the CANA providers. This is the dashboard. Now I am clicking on the switch 3. The third LED is glowing here. You can see there and 2. And now I am going to 1. These three LEDs are glowing. And now goes to 4. The fourth LED is also glow. So you can also monitor the temperature levels also here. You can see in the dash below humidity, temperature, and heat index there. Now I am turning off the devices. Order on off two devices. This I am turning off the fourth device. You can see the blowing down. This is all. This is how the uh, this is how the dashboard looks like. Thank you for watching. I hope you like and share and subscribe. See you.